Hey busy professional, welcome back to an exciting video because ClickUp 3.0 is out of beta. It's available for everyone out there. And we at the Paperless Movement are very excited because we've been using ClickUp 3.0 in the beta since day one and we knew what was coming. However, they did it again. Just with the launch, they just put it up a notch with the new home version that wasn't there in beta. Many features that weren't there in the better version are now available in the final release of ClickUp 3.0. Thanks to the tight collaboration with ClickUp, we've been able to also deliver our ClickUp Leica Pro course on time. So this means with the launch of ClickUp 3.0, our course is available now for our Payless Movement members as well. If you're really interested to get the most out of ClickUp for your business and your work life, then make sure to check out the link in the description below. But now let's dive into the features of ClickUp 3.0. Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. All right, here we are. Here we see already the new overview feature. So you see here the iCore template, and that's the space that we have here. For those who are new to ClickUp, there will be a beginner's course as well coming to YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. But uh, in general, you have here on the side your spaces, which then contain all the content of these spaces. Yeah, the folders, the lists, and the things that we are working on. And we will go through this very quickly in a moment. However, here we're on the space level. And this means now whenever you go on top level, and this was already a superpower of ClickUp, that you always can go to top level and see everything. They even have the everything button here. I can go there. And I'm now on top, top, top level of all these other spaces. However, that's not what we look here. Let's look at the space level. And there we have the overview button. And now we have everything within the space that is relevant. So that's just a newly started space that I have here based on our iCore template that you learn in the ClickUp Like a Pro course, how to install this and use it. And therefore we have just a few test objects in here. But when, you, when we go to the team paperless movement space and we go here to the overview, you see there's a bit more and there are the different folders. That's why we structure the things in folders. So now I can easily go to projects, which is actually here. Now I go here and now I have a completely different overview. And this is the overview that we use to get a quick glance on what is going on in the business, all right? So these are the projects we've been pushing on. These are eight courses we've been publishing since May with ClickUp Like a Pro. It's one of the final courses. And then we completed our goals, okay? And here, very nice. We see all the things that we achieved. Whenever there's completed and there's still things open, this means that's the post-launch processing. So we have some open tasks that we still need to do there. The amount of tasks inside this project. And then you say, hey, it's completed. What is there still open? You instantly click here and you go there. And then you see here, oh, there's the one brain session for the intro that we want to do. And that's what we will deliver. However, this is the nice thing about having this view here. And that's what we can then also use to plan out. So you can plan out the project also on a project level. So we usually use this as a rough estimate when we want to deliver these courses. And that's about it. But you also get all the docs that are relevant to this folder. If we then go here, for example, we also have the video scripts as docs tied to the project. So everything is our single source of truth. We don't have to think about where do I find this script about this course and so on. Everything is here and that's perfect. So this top level overview is already an amazing update. They now also introduced the item hubs. So now I have a docs hub and I can go here and here's everything about docs. I have my recent docs. I have my favorites I can put here. I have the created by me docs. And then we have this table here, which shows me now all the different docs. I can click here, see my docs. I see the shared docs, private, workspace, and so on. And then I can even add a filter and go wild here. I can say location is iCore template and boom, now I see only how to use this template. That's, this is the only doc that we just created in here. So this is really amazing to now navigate your content. And this is why we consider that ClickUp, especially 3.0 now, is best to use for BPM, business project management and BKM, business knowledge management. ClickUp in this case is really doing both. It combines both worlds, information and action. And this is exactly what we teach in the Paperless Movement membership via iCor, where we help busy professionals to get from information into action. And having everything in one tool gives you one specific superpower, a single source of truth for your business knowledge management. And therefore you have now the search and I can easily now 
search for anything and literally anything. So I could now uh, search for, there are the scripts for ClickUp like a pro course. Okay, and there you see already Ask AI is now available as well. This means we have now AI search in our business knowledge management database. Let's see what ClickUp will do there. There we go. The scripts from ClickUp like a pro course can be found in the document titled video script execution, blah, blah, blah. So video script execution, link to document, link to document. And amazingly down there, it shows all the resources that this AI contacted to in order to give you this answer. I love it. That's something we know from MAM, a uh, note-taking app that we left recently. <laughs> ClickUp makes it even better. So they provide you really the great answers. You give some feedback here. You click on the link to document. It will open up the document. And there we go. Here's the script that it found. And now I'm in the script of ClickUp like a pro course. Boom. So if you have not as tidy all the documents there, it will search your whole database, but it goes beyond because it searches also the stuff outside. So when we scroll here, you see, for example, here, member press raw data. That's a Google sheet that I have there. And this is the amazing thing. It really is not only tied to your internal storage. You can literally search universally across your different platforms where you store information. So let's go into the work stream section here where we work on our YouTube videos. What work streams means you learn also in the ClickUp like a pro course, but essentially these are recurring projects that we have going on compared to these projects where we have a start and an end date. So this is our production pipeline. And here we go. These are the videos that we just published on YouTube. We have a comprehensive automation here. It automatically publishes this to, to our website. Again, all covered in this ClickUp like a pro course. But what we have here is a link to tools, okay? That's a relationship field that was already in ClickUp 2.0 there as well. However, again, it is so much more seamless and faster than it was ever before. So whenever I create a new video, like new ClickUp 3.0 admin controls, another video that I'm working on here, I just click there and say now ClickUp, it will find ClickUp here from the database. So I can click here, click on this, and we go to the database to better understand this. You see there are databases down there. We have productivity tools, and therefore we have a list of productivity tools that we are either using or that we are reviewing. And here we have ClickUp. When we go to ClickUp and then we go to Related, you now see all the YouTube videos that we created about ClickUp already or that are, that are ideas or that are in progress. We can make full screen and I now see all the relations. But you also see here ClickUp Post. Okay, Paco is working on a ClickUp post as well. The beginner's course that we will start as well. If there is none, well, let's start one, right? But there we go, there's ClickUp. It wasn't linked, that's it, now it's linked. So here's the beginner's course ClickUp, YouTube videos. And the amazing thing is now I can just say our oh, ultimate ClickUp 3.0 business setup 2023. I click here, I get all the information about this video, even the project that I was working on or I click here, I have the link to the video. It opens the link perfectly. I can share the link very quickly. So this is how we leverage existing data because databases is one thing, but leveraging databases within a proper project management tool like ClickUp is next level because everybody can leverage this information later on. And combined with the AI search that we have inside ClickUp, it's just an amazing experience. Because now we can in any place, so let's say you go to the agenda meeting and you have something to discuss in an agenda meeting. The agenda meeting is again something that we talk about in the ClickUp like a pro course. We, as we just have one meeting per week to literally run the whole business over the week, everything is scheduled out there. And let's say I want to discuss something in this agenda meeting. I will just say, let's talk about the click up like a pro course, boom, and it's there. We will discuss it, but now I can give more context. And that's the amazing thing again, I can start sharing relevant content. So let's say I want to talk about ClickUp and there we go. Just by doing this, if I then next time go to ClickUp and I just open this and, and see the re related stuff that I have there. It will not appear in the related thing. As you see, there are even doc links and so on. No, it's in the task links. So as I added it to the description, you see here, let's talk about click, but click up like a pro course. All the relevant information stays in there and it will stay there forever. So I can always, especially for new people coming to the team, they know where to go to. Amazing stuff. 
Well, we, I could dive a lot deeper in all this, again, all covered in the course, but now let's talk about the other amazing features. And first of all, I want to go to Home 3.0. Amazing! I saw it in a beta, but the final release is so much better than what we saw there. They just made it. Okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for, to have a comprehensive place where I always can go to and see everything at a glance that I need to work on. We have the assigned to me thing, which is now replacing the my work area that you had in the old home. So when you go to manage cards, you see down here as well, my work is now a legacy thing. So you still can bring it back to see it in comparison. That's the thing that you had before. My work to do done delegated. That was the thing. And now we have this new thing, which I like a lot more. These are the assigned to me tasks. I have all the features that I would expect in a few. So I can actually make a filtered view. I can show the closed task. I can search for tasks. I can even customize how this looks like, how it should be grouped. I have a highly flexible view now in my home section to make it exactly how it should look like. And I, I love it. I really love it. And now the delegated is now here in a new reminders widget, which is awesome. So here's the delegated thing that we saw before in my work, but now it makes much more sense to have it here. I have my own reminders. I have the reminders that I have done and I have the delegated reminders. Then assigned comments. I see at a glance all the comments that are still assigned to me. And we talk in the ClickUp Like a Pro course also about team communication. And we leverage the commenting system inside ClickUp a lot. So we have rules there to assign comments properly to other members. So they actually see it in their home section. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to have without these rules in place. So I will never miss anything again. So here we have the calendar if you need it to. And obviously you can customize this. You can either switch them on and off or you can edit layout. If this is too big, boom. Everything is very responsive now. I really like it. Now with this new UI UX that they have there, it's really amazing. This is exactly what I was hoping for from Home 3.0. And I'm pretty sure it's just the beginning. We will get a lot more functionalities here for sure. This being said, there's a new feature that I really appreciate. You might remember the notifications in ClickUp 2.0. Now we have the inbox in ClickUp 3.0. And this is the place where I start my work and I will end my work and I will go to during my work because here you really see where the magic happens of being interconnected inside ClickUp. Whenever somebody talks about you, mentions you, things like this, it will appear here, but you can really work in here. So I can say, okay, that's this. So here, there, there we created a new magic slide. I have the, all the communication going on here. I don't need to even leave this. I can close this. So I have just this place here. And now I could reply as well. I can react to this, but I also have the details. So it brings up the new task view. And I love this, guys. It's not overlapping, it's just splitting the view. So now here I'm staying in context. When I go to the next one, I open this up. It opens this up on the side. So I can always see more context. But in most cases, it's even enough here because I see what this is all about. I see the place where, where this is spoken about. And then I can just reply in a thread in here. And talking about threads, there's the next thing. The ClickUp AI is just amazing. I know I sound very hyped because I am. This video is not sponsored by ClickUp. This is us being really happy that they made it, that we worried for a long time. Will they make it? Will they improve the things? Everybody was waiting about for this release, but they made it and even better than we expected. With this release, they will just build on top of this. We have no doubts about this, but this feels everything already very complete. I don't see any bugs, nothing happens. And here with the new AI, just very quickly, you see there is this thread that we have also on the side. We have this button and I can click here and it will summarize the thread very quickly. So imagine that you have a long thread going on here. It will be able to catch up very quickly. You're coming back from holiday and then you just have to catch up, that's it. Or you have then the button on top that summarizes the whole task in general. and also based on the different times. And this being said, you can even, if you like to, go now to your lists and add a button here that says text area 
and you fill it with an AI summary and then you can have a bullet list short or detailed and it summarizes the task or you can have a progress update and it checks uh, the last 24 hours, last three days, and it updates this list. So Tom Solid set a due date, okay? I changed the due date. This is just giving you the updates here, the progress updates. But now let's have the summary and let's run this again. And here you go. Now we here you click here and you see a summary of all the things that are talked about. You can quickly can copy the summary and use it elsewhere. But this is something where I really see AI makes sense to be implemented. I have now a list and I have these summaries at hand all the time. I can summarize the tasks. I can summarize the commenting. I can search the whole database using AI. So there are a lot of places where they rolled out AI in a way that really makes sense. Obviously you have all the other GPT things as well that you can create blog posts or, or make proofreading and things like that. But these features really show they made a unique version of AI that are implemented in ClickUp. So I really like it. So let's go up to the inbox because I don't want to talk about this right now. I can snooze it for the next two hours, all right? And then I have here the snooze section where I find all the things that I snoozed. Snoozing, I love snoozing. If I have momentum, I can stay focused but I don't have to worry that I miss out on anything. Therefore, moving it into the snooze inbox, keeping it there and then having re-emerging the moment I need it is just amazing. I really like it. And then I want to quickly scratch on the surface of the new custom task items. So you saw it already in here. This is something that we leverage on our this week's view. So when we go here, there's a list of all the tasks everybody's working on. And therefore you see these icons and they have different reasons. We have milestones and these are the weekly goals. Again, everything that we talk about in the ClickUp Like a Pro course in more detail. But this being said, they help us a lot for visual identification quickly of tasks. And obviously there's a lot more coming to these custom task fields. And with this, I think this was already a lot that we've covered today. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel to stay tuned to all the updates that will come to ClickUp, we will share them with you first. If you liked the video, share it with your friends. And if you really want to level up your ClickUp game, well then join the Paperless Movement membership. And we are personally in there to help you achieve your goals.